Hey guys, it's John and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download Zombies Mod Pack. Uh, Zombies Mod Pack is a fly mod that I use in all my redstone videos and everything and uh, it's quite a hard mod to install so I always get asked about it and yeah so I'm going to sh be showing you guys how to download it and change all the config files to enable all the mods that you want to use. So yeah, the first thing you need to do is download the actual mod and I'll put the link for this in the, in the description, it's got quite a few mods that seem quite useful but, but the only one I really use is the flying mod and yeah, so download it here, click that link and you'll get uh, this here and I've saved it to my desktop because it's the easiest place to get it obviously and another thing you need to download to open this is WinRAR and I'll put the link for WinRAR in the description as well. Uh, WinRAR just opens up uh, zip folders and RAR files I guess. And inside this folder that you download you'll have the classes and the config files. So the first thing we're, we're going to do is install all the classes. What we're going to do is find the Minecraft folder uh, where all our saves are and where you install the mods. So on Windows, I'm not really sure how to do this on Mac, so I'm sorry if you're on Mac, but uh, on Windows, if you come down to the search bar and type in run, you'll get this program here where you can type in uh, names of folders and files and it will find it quite quickly for you. Uh, what we're, we're going to download is, uh, and what we're going to write in here is app data. So just like that, and then you click OK, and then we can go into roaming, and Minecraft. So in here there is a couple of uh, folders and we're going to go into the bin folder and from here we'll, there will be a minecraft.jar file in which we can open it with WinRAR. So we just right click on it and select open with and WinRAR. So now we have this open and it's got all the classes that Minecraft uses and the first thing we're, we're going to want to do is is down. Uh, I mean, delete the meta inf folder here. So we just click on it and press delete, and there we go. So now we can drag in our class files from the mod pack. So when we're on the mod pack, just open it and click on classes and select all of these, and then drag them into the Minecraft.jar like that and press, press OK and now the uh, the actual mod will be installed into Minecraft and it will not crash when you open it and now what we can do is find our all our cog, uh, con cog files? config files and what we're going to do is go from here go to the Minecraft uh, folder again and go into mods and on here we can make a new folder called zombie like that, make sure you miss out the eye and then you're going to go into zombie and drag in all the config files here and into here. From here this is where you can install, I mean not install, this is where you can uh, enable any of the mods that you want to use. But the only one I use is the flying mod. So if we come down here it has fly mod aka flying and what we can do is take away this ha this hashtag here and then just delete that and then the mod will be enabled to use. Make sure you do that otherwise you can't actually use any of the mods. So if you're going to use for example the path tracker which I don't even know what that is, what you're going to do is delete the hashtag which is in front of it. So now that, now that we've deleted the hashtag what we can do is change all the controls that you want to use it for. The controls that I usually use, this is my personal preference, is I use C for the toggle and I use E for fly up and F for fly down and everything else should be okay. Um, that's Yeah I'm pretty sure that's how I usually have it and then we can just save that and then close it. Now we can go into Minecraft and hopefully we should be able to use a fly mod. So just go into Minecraft, go in 
login. And here we go, let's see if it actually worked. Let's just cross our fingers. It takes a while to log in for some reason. It might even come up with play offline, so let's hope it doesn't do that. Nope, seems to be okay. And we can go into just any world like this, and I'll click C, and now I can fly about everywhere, do whatever I want. And yeah, so if you want to install any, I mean, if you want to enable any other mods, all you have to do is delete the hashtag in front of it. Uh, what I'm going to do is change what it says when I, uh, when you fly. I've been asked this a couple of times as well, it, so all we need to do is go into the fly mod, as you can see here, it seems to have a hashtag for some reason. Actually, no, we're in the wrong one, so here we go. So we come in here and we can change what it says in the top left hand corner when we fly. If we just come down to the fly mod here, fly mod, and come down to the bottom it says tag shown when fly mod is active and it just says fly, uh, flying. What I usually have it as is zombies mod, mod pack and I put in download link in the description. Or you can change it to what I usually have, or what I had before, which was Jesus powers. And then we can save that like that, and open Minecraft again. And log in, even though it takes ages. Here we go, and go in here and when we press flying it says Jesus powers as you can see. So that's how you download it. Uh, to turn on fi uh, no clip, all you need to do is press F6 and no clip is when you can fly through walls and without no clip you just bang into the walls. I don't think no clip will work on any servers that you have uh, which is kind of, a, kind of not very good but uh, yeah, that's how you download Zombies Mod Pack and the Fly Mod. And yeah, so I'll see you guys later.